Your Side. With Northeast Ohio's best coverage, this is News Channel 5. And we begin tonight with a look at your Father's Day weekend weather. I'm here with Chief Meteorologist Mark Johnson. The forecast for Father's Day, Mark, may have some of us rethinking our plans. Yeah, right on. We've got some thunderstorms that will move our way this weekend just in time for Dad's Day. So if you need some outdoor activities for Dad, let's take a look at when the best time for that will be. Right now we're dry. We're going to stay dry all night long. Now notice the big rain and thunderstorms over in Iowa, up toward Minneapolis, Minnesota. Those will slowly move our way. Now again, if you need dry weather, I think Saturday is your day for it. Temperatures now, they're going to cool off. We're going to cool into the lower 50s, upper 40s by dawn tomorrow morning. But we've got a nice recovery through the day on Saturday. Look at this, 54 at 7 a.m., 9 a.m. at 60, and 67 at 11 a.m. So, Dad, if you want to go golfing, if the kids are treating you to something outdoors, I think tomorrow's your day to do it because we'll stay dry. We're going to time the rain and the thunderstorms coming your way for Dad's Day Sunday, hour by hour, when we come back in a minute. All right, Mark, thanks. Well, tomorrow, Cleveland police could hand you some cash. You could get home, go home with $100 to $200 richer in an effort to make the streets safer. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin live in Cleveland. And Mike, how do you get the cash? Well, Chris, all you have to do is head down to the old 3rd District headquarters, which is located on Payne. And once you go there, the cash could be yours if you have the right thing. Two years ago, the gun buyback program in Cleveland took in about 700 guns. That's a nice number to shoot for as police aim to get these unused weapons off the street. The gun buyback helps to eliminate tragedies where a young child in a home possibly gets a hold of a gun or someone that doesn't know how to operate um, a firearm or a weapon gets a hold of it and it discharges and hurts somebody. Police know the trigger in getting people to bring in their guns is money. They're offering a $100 gift card for those who turn in a working handgun. And if you want more dough, bring in a working semi-automatic rifle and get a $200 gift card. There are some rules. The weapons must be unloaded in a clear plastic bag inside a second container like a gym bag or backpack. Keep it in the trunk of your vehicle when you're traveling and make sure you pack your ammunition separately. Yeah, it's got its pros and its cons. And it's a good idea, sure, anything I'd be willing to try to get the guns off the streets. Community activist Laura Cowan would prefer a gun buyback program that targets the bad guys looking to score some cash. She says people who may have some legal issues are unlikely to show up. Because if you're trying to get the criminals to really turn in the guns, mm -hmm. well then don't scare them. Give them a leeway or a place or hey, safe haven they, they feel comfortable enough to bring in the guns and leave them. All right, again, the gun buyback program will be over at the old 3rd District headquarters on Payne Avenue from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. We're live in Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. Also 